Okay, so last night I was woken up at about 1.30 a.m. with from the cops. They saw my car parked in the library parking lot of Westport <laughs> with my bicycle sitting behind it, and he decided to rap on my window. I did not hear him. The grocery store right next to the library is kind of loud. That could have covered up his noise, but regardless, he woke me. He didn't see me on the computer, so he's going to assume I was camping. I couldn't really use the excuse that I was using the computer at that point, so he pretty much started advising me that the city does not allow camping within Westport. I needed to find another place. There was that Hungry Whale place, I guess, but he's told by the city that he can't give that kind of advice. <laughs> then he starts going into this diatribe about how there's uh, county land I could sleep on or some place outside a city, as long as I'm not in the city grounds then I can get away with sleeping in my car but the city officials have decided that you can't camp in your car and they're serious about that I mean this place it took about three nights but they you know they finally stopped and checked me out and told me to keep moving not every city does that some are more relaxed than others but this one I can understand I mean between Aberdeen and West Westport there's a a prison of 2,000 people I forget the name of it but wow you know that's that's probably gonna attract some ruffians and then there's the, it's pretty much a surfer community a surfer fishing community heavily commercialized but just a nice area for surfing so yeah you're gonna you're probably gonna invite troublemakers there in Westport I could see so I got out of there in a hurry and just uh, drove to, to Aberdeen again and hung has been hanging out. Um, I'm looking into work. The the uh, the job prospects. I mean, they're not great. I don't know if anybody will. I don't know if anybody will ever hire me full time for anything. But the the apps are pretty helpful. Like Gigwalk has two jobs coming up and on the 17th. I have to wait until the 17th, and then I have between the 17th and 21st to audit some stores, to uh, two Rite Aids, there's uh, some heartburn medication that needs to be put up by the seventh, by the 21st, between the 17th and the 21st. I need, I need to take a picture and make sure that those are there. So it's it's an audit uh, that I save them money by getting, I get paid seven bucks, whereas if they had somebody do it, it'd probably been two, three times as much maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I don't make a lot off of that. And then TaskRabbit's really interesting. There's a lot of these jobs available that uh, are, are don't require a particular location. There's one that was already taken up, but it's it's uh, data entry for Excel. And this lady's saying it'll take like t t t 10 to 12 hours. She pays about maybe $15 hour, dollars an hour. And it's just, you input, she said, a thousand companies into Excel and they have to go in a certain format. So it's tricky. It's handwork. Somebody already somebody already took it though. It's a grab bag type of business. It's a fire hose. It's almost like a fire hose with with jobs because every time I look, every hour practically, there's something different, something new, and and it's a it's a fairly wide variation. They are doing a good job focusing mostly on Seattle, but in the in the area at least. So it's, it's given me some hope that there's some um, potential work out there. And then there's another app called Rewardable, which um, you play video games and get paid like 50 cents each or something. It's really nickel and dimes things. Um, these, these little things, though, I'm telling you, this is the future. I mean, these little gig type of, uh, of events that come up uh, are, are growing and... Uh, I mean, I like them. I find them exciting. It feels like I'm checking the stock market, and that always excited me. Every time I, I check to see what the latest price was, and what I'm doing with these apps is every time I'm checking to see what the latest job is available, the latest gig. Do I want to take, you know, what what's new? Do I want to take it? It's just a grab bag. It's not all this hassle of having to do Homeland Security, uh, give my... Um, past five years of work history and six references I don't have to do all that and besides that my my history is 
is terrible and it's not getting any better it's going from bad to not getting any better so it's you know this this is like a last hope with these apps and but it's only useful when my computers are working if I lose my computers that's it you know that's jobs over and then I'll need to really march from business to business finding whatever I can but a lot of these people are requiring that you go to the computer to fill out an application which is really really a change in in the structure of of, of work um, some businesses still use uh, you know handwriting and, and all that like I got this discount card um, at Safeway here which is where, is where I'm parked I'm gonna be pushing the limits for parking here too long. Hope they don't tow my car, but I, I filled it out with uh, by hand, and then they'll have to turn around and um, input that information or something. All right, that's it.